Hi everybody and welcome back to a brand new full body bar class with me. You need one dumbbell, I'm using one kilogram, that's totally enough. Grab yourself something to hold on, a chair is perfect for that. Do a warm up first and whenever you're ready, let's jump straight into it. We're gonna start in this six belly position. So you bring your feet together and we're gonna find the perfect posture, roll your shoulders back and down, engage your core, and then grab the chair and we're gonna start with the left arm. So lift the left arm into the first belly position and drop. Doesn't have to be super high, bring your fingertips just in front of your belly button. And when you got that, speed it up, let's go. Up and down. The elbow is pointing to the side, shoulder low. Engage the core, breathe and enjoy. And when you're ready, lift the heels. Let's go. Very important, squeeze your heels together. Good. Up and down. Amazing, let's go, squeeze the glutes. And imagine you have some, yeah, a, a bill, some money between your heels and you don't want to lose it. All right, so squeeze it together. Keep your knees extended. Let's go, eight more. Enjoy the power that is coming up in your calf muscles, in your shoulder. Two more and then hold it high and lift the arm up next to your ear slowly first and back into the first position let's go up for two and down for two move your shoulders away from your ears and when you feel comfortable speed it up let's go up for one and down for one lift and lower focus on your rib arches keep them closed don't let flatter it out Keep the control and draw the navel in towards the spine. When you got that, add a plie. So I'll show you the movement from the side. Stay upright, keep shoulders, hips, and heels in one line. Breathe. And let's wake up the front thighs, the quads here. Imagine you're leaning against the wall, the shoulder blades are touching the wall all the time. Don't lose the money between your heels. Squeeze it together. Seven more. Squeeze the thighs together. Good. Last four. Three. Stay low and move the arm to the side for two. And lift back up for two. Good. Now really lift the heels up as high as you can to the side for two. Lift. Squeeze an imaginary orange between your thighs and then speed it up. For one and lift for one. Strong arms and shoulders. Good. Keep moving here in your arm. And now let's switch the focus to your hips. So squeeze the glutes and come back to the neutral spine position. So squeeze and release. Squeeze, release. Imagine. There are some weights at your sitting bones and they're pulling down. All right, so you lengthen your lumbar spine and you crack that imaginary nut with your butt cheeks. Got this? Let's deepen the plea, bend the legs even more. Woo. Let's heat it up. Eight more. Seven. Lift the heels a little bit higher. Squeeze the thighs together. The legs are shaking. Four more. Three. Now, tuck the tailbone under, hold it here, and move the arm forwards for two, and open just the arm. Squeeze the heels, squeeze the, squeeze the thighs, squeeze the glutes. Woo! Yes, embrace the shake. This is a good sign. The muscle starts to grow, you start to grow. Speed it out, let's go. Forward and side. Follow the beat, follow the rhythm. Oh, all right, keep going. I show you the lower body movement first, so have a look before you follow. So drop the heels and lift, come back to the starting position. All right, we're gonna meet in the squat. Send the hips backwards. Whenever you're ready, follow. 
you don't extend your legs, keep them deeply bent. Down and up. The gaze is also moving. So when you drop your heels, you look diagonally down to the ground. And when you lift your heels, give me a smile. Good job. Eight more. Seven. Keep the spine long. The core engage. Whoop. Four. Three. We're gonna stay low in the squat and you're gonna row with the arms. So up for two and down for two. So elbows close to your body. We're gonna work for the back muscles here. And for the triceps, the muscle at the back of your arm. Ready, let's speed it up. Here we go. Deep in the plie. Yes. You can do this. And bend and stretch. We're gonna add the outer foot. So you're gonna tap out when you extend the leg at the arm. All right. So both is extending at the same time. Arm and leg extend and bend. Extend, bend. All your weight is here on the inner leg, the leg that is close to your bar, to your chair, whatever you have to hold on. Woo. Ah, enjoy. We're gonna do eight more together. Pull the elbow up high. Seven. Six. Good job. Four more. Three. Two. Keep the leg extended. Turn out the arm and move on with a biceps curl. So stick the elbow to your rib cage. Just bend and stretch the arm. Four, two, first. So find that control, that muscle, mind engagement, and then speed it up. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. All right, we're gonna add a leg curl. So keep the thigh steady and calm. You just want to bend and stretch the knee joint. Here we go. Bend and stretch. So you wanna stick your heel to your butt cheek. Got that? So you really get a nice activation. The muscles of the back of your thigh. So the back, thigh and the calf muscles. All right, let's go. Bend and stretch. Biceps curl meets leg curl. If your supporting leg needs a little break, shake it out and come back stronger. Bend and stretch. We're gonna stick to it for eight more rounds. Eight, I need your core now. For the next exercise, where we wanna focus on the glutes. If you lose the tension here in your abs, you get the tension in your back and that's not what we want. So stay bent, hold it here and lift the arm up for two and down for two. Uh, for two. So when I stop moving because I explain something to you, don't stop moving, all right? You keep going. <laughs> and then speed it up. Let's go up and down. So can you see, I keep my arm bent at a 90 degree angle. Keep the shoulder low here. I know the standing leg is screaming. Uh, have a look. We're gonna lift and lower. Feel free to hinge for a little bit more to the front. So you create more space here in your lower back. And now, stay strong. This is your last exercise here on this side. Let's go, lift and lower. And not only the heel wants to reach the sky, it's the whole sole of the foot. Now count with me, eight, seven. Don't move your lower spine. Press the heel of your supporting leg firmly into the floor. <sighs> Belly button in and up, zip everything, everything in and up. And then when you're done with the last round, ah, give your supporting leg a little shake. Good job. And we're gonna switch over to the other side, so swing it around. <sighs> Enjoy your active recovery, move your hips. Good, give your body some active recovery love here. Shake it off, shake it out. So you can come back stronger for the second side. Close your feet together, six belly position. We're gonna start with just moving the arm up for two, down for two. 
keep the arm nicely bent, the elbows facing to the side. Doesn't have to be high, fingertips in front of the belly button, that's enough. Got that? So speed it up, let's go. Up and down. Think about your upright posture, squeeze your glutes, your thighs, make yourself great, tall and beautiful as you are. And then lift and lower the heels with control, up and down. And again, think about the money between your heels. You don't want to lose it. You don't want to drop it. So squeeze it together. Good job, with control. Imagine you're working through your, like honey. So you just can work with power, not with swinging. Don't allow yourself to drop. So really drop with control. Good job, seven more. Six. With each round, raise, rise a little bit higher. Good, last two. And then hold it high and just lift the arm up next to your ear, up for two, and down for two. Keep the rib arch closed. And down for two. Last round here. And then speed it up. Let's go up and down. Up and down. Pull the shoulder blades together. And into the lower back. Whenever you're ready, add the plea in four, in three, in two. Bend your legs. Bend and reach. Bend and reach. Good. So stay upright. We don't want to hinge forwards. This is not a squat. This is a plie. So imagine leaning against the wall and you keep the contact between shoulder blades and wall. Create a long, soft neck. Heels together, remember. Ooh, shoulders are fighting. Four more. Three. Two. Hold it low and move the arm to the side slowly. Four, two. And up. Four, two. To the side. And up. Let's go two more slowly. Woo. Heels together. You feel comfortable, you want more double time. It's just optional. So when you do bad, you observe yourself that you work with swinging, then slow it down again. When you feel comfortable with the arm and you don't have to think about it anymore, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze, neutral. Squeeze, neutral. Lengthen the lumbar spine and come back to neutral spine position. Lots of things to think about. So I repeat, squeeze the heels together. Squeeze the thighs together. Bend the knees a little bit more. Four more. Three, two, hold the arm at the side and move the arm to the front. Let's go, front and open. To the front and open. At the same time, lift your heels a little bit higher and open. Don't stop moving. Good. You got it, double time. Let's go. Front, side. I don't want you to move the rest of the body. Just focus on the arm first. Four more, just the arm. Three more. For the next round, I'm gonna drop the heels. Meet me in the squat. Here we go. Down and lift. Down and lift. Keep that spine long. Don't round, okay? And lift, drop, and lift. Ooh, this is a short break for your shoulder. Enjoy. Down, lift, down, lift. Feel that nice engagement in your glutes. Up and down. Don't stretch your legs anymore. Keep them nicely bent. Here we go, four more, three more. Meet me in a squat, just row with your arms slowly up for two 
and down for two, follow the beat. Up for two, elbow close to your body. Lift, lift, elbow nice and high. Lift, lift, when you got that, speed it up. Let's go, up and down, so you roll. For nice, strong, activated back. Especially the broad back muscles working here, the so-called latissimus. Let's go, bend and stretch. Whenever you are ready at the leg, tap back, bring it in and lengthen. Think about a nice, strong and long leg. Good job, keep working here. Every time when you bend the arm, think about cracking an imaginary nut with the shoulder blade. So squeeze it together, squeeze and stretch, squeeze and stretch. Give me eight more of these. Here we go. Eight. I need your core. Draw the navel in towards the spine. Don't lose the tension here. Let's go. Four more. Three more. Two. Keep the leg long. Turn out the arm. Biceps curl slowly for two. And down for two. First round is always slowly. Take your time for control. Elbow is close to your chest. Bend for two, roll the shoulders back and down, proud chest. So bend, bend, stretch, stretch. When you got that, let's speed it up. Here we go, bend and stretch. First the arm, take your time. If your standing leg needs a break, shake it out and come back stronger. Ready for the leg curl? Four, in three, in two, Move the arm and the leg. Keep the thigh steady and calm. So you don't want to pull the knee in. Keep the thigh behind you. And just try to stick your heel to your butt cheek. Nice. Here we go. Bend and stretch. Curl it and extend. Short but intense workout. Enjoy. Bend and stretch. Let's go for eight more if you need a break. Take it. Last four. Try to stick that heel to your butt cheek. And then stay bent, hold it here and lift the arm. Up for two and down for two. Can you see this? Shoulder stays low. Keep the arm bent at a 90 degree angle. Lift up for two and lower, speed it up. Let's go up and down, up and down. Take your gaze diagonally down onto the ground. You need some relaxation for your supporting leg. Bring the second foot down onto the ground. And whenever you're ready, add the leg lifts. But first of all, make sure your core is strong. So you really get the power out of your glute. So this is your last exercise. So don't stop, it's not worth it anymore. Lift and lower, up and down. Okay, let's fight, stay strong. You got this, we're here together. Eight more, eight, seven. Belly button in and up, shoulders low. Yes, 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 come on, enjoy the fire. The burn is here to make you stronger. And then relax and shake it out. Woo. Shake out the supporting leg. Shake out the shoulders. Breathe deeply. <sighs> Good job. This was a nice burner for thighs, glutes, back, arms, and shoulders. But we always want to make sure to train all the muscles equally. So if you're looking for an app workout now, make sure to check out this for YouTube workout over here. See you there.